be our June favorites. Sorry we have been gone for so long, but we are back and ready for you to see us more often. So without fur 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 ado, oh my god. Without further ado, let's get down to business. So my first favorite, my lip combo, is the NYX lip liner in Oh god. Why don't you make this easier? In natural this guy with the matte lip, soft matte lip cream in Stockholm on top. I love this. It is like the most perfect brownie, nudie, kind of pinky tone, and I've been wearing this non-stop. So my first product is an eyebrow pencil. And this is a really, really old product. Not like this is old, but like it's an old favorite. This is like Birchbox OG. Yeah, a long time ago. So the brand is Your Best Friend or YBF and the color is universal taupe so it's supposed to work for anyone and it's great it's just a little pencil you know and this was like my holy grail before hourglass but then i i left my hourglass pencil in kansas so i realized i had this and i really like it still so i have no problem using it for now and i love that pencil i think I it does about a that. really great job you know so agreed thumbs up thumbs up Next, this is totally going to be a surprise to you because we definitely haven't mentioned these before. It is the Jane Bronzer. Hello. The difference though is this time, the one I'm talking about is Dream. I normally wear in power. This is a little bit more of a warm toned bronzer. And it is beautiful. It is matte. I have it on today to warm up my face. It's gorgeous. I've been wearing this nonstop, and the, the reason I love it is if I'm super lazy, I just throw this in my crease with some of my other favorites, which I will talk about. And it is the easiest eye slash face in the world, and I love it. And you should buy it. Yes. And it's cheap. Okay, go. Your turn. Okay, so my next favorite is something that I got from my Ipsy bag. Like, one of the only good things I've gotten out of an Ipsy bag. Let's be real, this month sucked. So anyway, the product is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. Wow, this is a long title, but it has SPF 50. So yeah, it doesn't smell like sunscreen, which is a plus. It's very, like, you can sheer it out, which I like, because I just don't like full-on, full-coverage uh, foundation. just doesn't work for my skin, so I really like this, and most of the time I choose it as concealer, but it works really well, so I really like it. So this has been in the favorites before, but I have to talk about it again because I just have to. It is the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. I still love my custom cover drops. I have been wearing them nonstop. That is what I have on, mixed with this beautiful man. But Cover FX, I need this in an extra jumbo size because I put this on my face, my chest, my neck, everywhere because it makes me this shimmery, glowy goddess. Please, oh please, oh please, make this. In a bigger size. Thanks, love you, bye. So my next favorite is something that I like to use with my last favorite, and it is the Morphe G6. It's just a flat top synthetic brush, but I don't know, I like to, it's good for foundation, it's good for under your eye, because it's so small and tiny, and it fits between your eyebrows, so that's always nice. But you could really use this for anything, because it's so dense. I'm drunk. No. <laughs> It's so dense, so you could use it for like the ColourPop blushes, you know, like cream product would be really good. And it's really soft. I think I've talked about them before, but these Morphe Gunmetal Collection brushes are the softest things ever, so I love it. Hit myself with that. <laughs> so soft. Next, everyone and their mother has been talking about this, so I jumped on the bandwagon because I'm a bandwagon jumper. And it is the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. Yes, Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. I am in the shade Medium Light Neutral. And it's pretty much my skin tone. It's not really that much lighter than my what my skin tone is. I love this because the texture is really, really lightweight. It dries down to like a satin matte finish. And it actually doesn't crease that bad on me. I feel like this is the better version of the MAC Pro Longwear. Like, I definitely broke up with MAC Pro Longwear. And 
NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. She used to be a MAC junkie, so that's like a very bold statement. Like, those are my bad ex-boyfriends now. This is my new boo. My next favorite is something that's fairly new because I have not seen a lot of people talking about it. It is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I guess that's it. <laughs> I think it's a mascara. It's a mascara. Good sorry. Job. And I got... Um, I didn't get the blackest black. I just got very black. Which, you know, I just don't understand that about mascaras. Why is there... Black, very black, and black is black. Are they not all the same? Because like, wouldn't it just be like a charcoal instead of a black? Exactly. But then there's like very black, and then there's blackest black, and then there's like blackity blackest black, black, black. And I just think that that's a little bit overkill. I'm it just confused. doesn't make sense to me. Are they not all black? Anyway, rant over. So I got very black because I just wanted to switch it up and see. Uh, and just to let you know, it's black. <laughs> it's very black. It's black. <laughs> so. I'm not going to go too in depth on this because I'm doing a special video on just this and something else, a little dupe video, Ooh. but this is like holy grail status. I love that mascara. I bought it because you told me to and sometimes I listen to you sometimes. and I really like that mascara. It's really great. I did not buy waterproof. I hate waterproof I hate mascara, waterproof. but this stuff is so good and I don't have any problem with it like flaking or rubbing off or anything. So like I said, look out for that video because it's going to be really fun. I feel like the apocalypse is coming. Really fun. Really fun. Check it out. Last but not least, since I have two and she's done. You're done, right? Yep. I'm going to kind of do them together since I wear them together. So I know one of my last favorites I talked about a cream eyeshadow. I am still on like a serious cream eyeshadow kick, except now instead of them being like liquid cream, which that doesn't really make sense, I am really into the stick cream shadows. Um, specifically the Laura Mercier ones and the By Terry. Yes, it's expensive. Yes, this was a splurge. I use my birch box point so it doesn't count. But I really like these. These are like lazy girl shadows. They look absolutely beautiful. I have the By Terry Ombre Black Ombre Bla, Ombre Black Star. I don't sound as cute when I say it as Essie Button or as Amelia, Amelia Liliana. And the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks in Copper and Sand Glow. These are beautiful. If you don't have at least copper, you need it in your life. It is gorgeous. And what I do on top of them is this beautiful little baby. This is the Makeup Geek Utopia Pigment. Oldie but goodie. I forget about this, I fall back in love with it, I forget about it, I fall in love with it. I absolutely love this. I've just been doing my cream shadow and packing a little bit of this on my lid and it is so beautiful. I keep getting asked what I'm wearing and it literally took me like two minutes to do it which makes me a happy lady. Cool beans. So now we're on to our random favorites. Woo! Woo we're going to start with a TV show. Our favorite TV show of the month. Clearly I'm going to pick Orange is the New Black because if you're not watching it, I don't know what rock you're living under. It's amazing. P.S. If you don't know who Ruby Rose is, do yourself a favor. I have seen people saying not super great things about it, but I will just say that I love this season. Loved it. Loved this season. And the final scene of them outside is just beautiful, in my opinion. Like, absolutely well done. So good. And I really like it. I like it. <laughs> I will not be mentioning Game of Thrones because of what they did to us. Favorite movie of the month. Jurassic World. Chris Pratt. I mean, that's all I really have to say. That's Chris one of Pratt. my favorites also because of Chris Pratt. There. So, one of my other favorite movies this month is Mad Max. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. I know it could be a little off-putting because it seems like an action movie and very action-y, but it's really good and for all you ladies out there, it passes the Bechdel test in case you were wondering, so there's more than one female in it. Next, we're going on to music. And I have two favorites this month. Getting fancy. Okay, so my first favorite this month is something new to me and newer. 
And it's someone that, there's like a couple people on YouTube, Miss Megan Makeup, her sister, and Maddie Bragg, that talk about this person a lot. So I finally listened to it, and it's Keelani, Keelani. So I've been listening to her newer album, which is Wish You Were Here, I think is what it's called. Something like that. But my two favorite songs are Wanted and Down For You. They're both really good, and I really, really like the album. You should check it out. I'll link it down below, of course. And then my second one is not anything new. But it's one of my favorite records that I like to put on when I'm cleaning, and it's The Temptations. It has The Way You Do the Thing You Do, Such a and good also My Girl on it, which yeah. Penny loves when I sing it to her and dance with her. She, she doesn't run away at all, she ever. But I love it so much. My favorite song is, I'm Are sure you? everyone's heard it, I'm sure this is totally overplayed, whatever. The Weeknd, the song from... Fifty Shades of Grey, which, by the way, I am oh, not endorsing that movie. Don't ever mention that, that on our channel. The movie is god-awful terrible, and it's not because I'm a prude, it's because it's a terrible movie. His voice is like baby-making music. Not that I'm making babies, but just so in case you're wanting to, it's a good song for that. His, his voice is absolutely beautiful, so love it. It's on the radio constantly. I'm sure you've heard it. Not really. I don't think so. Anything else? No. I'm not. Okay, favorite YouTuber! Woo! My favorite YouTuber this month is going to be Ingrid. Is she still yes. Ms. Is she still Miss Glamorazzi on YouTube? I'm not sure. I don't I know if so. she goes by her name or that so. anymore. But she, I wanted to give a shout out because she had a very great big moment this month. She made a really awesome announcement. She came out and life is great still. So I just want to mention her because when I like first got into YouTube, she was definitely like the first YouTuber that I stumbled across that really got me into it and kind of helped fuel this addiction. Yeah. She got it started, helped get it started. I remember like binging her videos in college, so mm -hmm. I really, really enjoy her content and I just think it's really awesome what she did because it's very brave and, you know, I have to agree. We've watched them really grow and evolve and I think you can tell when something isn't completely right with someone and I don't know if she necessarily didn't feel completely happy but with that video it was like she took a breath and all of that just came out and it was like she, she could breathe and be herself and I completely commend her yes. for doing that. I think applaud that's you. amazing. <laughs> Claps for you. I can't imagine how that has to feel so freeing and so rewarding and you deserve it. Yes. My favorite beauty YouTuber of the month is Beauty by Emily Fox. She's awesome. I recently stumbled across her and she does these really great videos where she does lip swatches. The lip swatches are really accurate and she does really nice little mini reviews, try-ons. I like her because she actually does swatches that look like the product, so that's always good. Um, and I really like her. She's awesome. She's a really good find. Sweet. Yeah. So those are all of our favorites this month. We hope that you guys enjoy. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.